Hey everybody, if you're seeing this for the first time or seeing me for the first time, I'm Paul Valley. I'm the host of The Payoff Pitch. Uh, first and foremost, I miss all of you guys. I miss baseball. I miss sports. I miss producing content for you guys to, and ladies, to take in on a daily and weekly basis, whether it be The Payoff Pitch, whether it be producing Stan Charles' show, The Bat Around, uh, whether it's, or whether it's writing for Utah Street Report, Really miss working and giving you guys the content that you love. Um, this is a hard hit, not just for me, for everybody. You know, we love the Orioles, we love baseball, we want to see them get back on the field, but only when it's safest. And I'm going to address um, some things that MLB is talking about doing here in just a minute. Um, update on the payoff pitch. Our last show featured Dan Connolly back in January. And then Tony Lombardi contacted me and let me know that he wanted to move forward with the show in a different format. So the podcast form of the show uh, is falling by the wayside. We're going to be doing two short three to five minute videos every week when and if the season gets revved up and going. Um, one's going to be a minor league report. The other show's just going to be an Orioles recap. Uh, you're going to probably be having shows on Mondays and Wednesdays. Monday will be the Orioles recap. Wednesday will be the minor league report. That doesn't mean that the payoff pitch itself is dead as a half hour to an hour long show. Um, Stan Charles uh, and I are hopefully going to be sitting down and talking with some of the other big wigs over at Press Box. And now that I've found a co-host, thank you, Matt Pine. Um, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do something through Press Box Nothing's guaranteed, nothing's promised. This is all just, um, you know, hypothetical situations right now, and me being hopeful to get this thing up and running again because I know that I have people that like following the show and I love doing it. It's my favorite thing to do in the world other than play and watch baseball. So uh, that's the update on the payoff pitch. Once the season gets started, hopefully we'll get things rolling again. Uh, hopefully that's sooner rather than later. Uh, speaking of sooner rather than later, um, Jeff Passan uh, leaked out that Major League Baseball is thinking about doing a season from Arizona where they use a bunch of spring training facilities, a bunch of college fields. They'd use uh, Chase Field uh, where the Diamondbacks play and just do the season from there. And what they would have to do is have ten to 15,000 people isolated in the Phoenix area um, with no outside contact and probably looking close to 15,000 if the players get to have their families with them. Otherwise, you're talking about four and a half months of being away from your family to play baseball. And yeah, these guys travel and they spend weeks at a time away from their families, but they don't spend four and a half months. That's asking a lot of anything. Think about how you feel. You know, if you're if you have an apartment on your own or a house on your own, or maybe you live on your own and you're away from your family just for the last month, and then extend that four and a half times, and that's what you're looking at for these major league players. And you know, if they sign up for it, they sign up for it. If they can get fifteen thousand people, including employees, workers, umpires, medical staff, team personnel, players, and family members, they can get them all quarantined in the same area. And they, and they are willing and wanting to play baseball, then I say go for it. The problem here is it gets balls hot in Phoenix in the middle of the summer. You're talking 115 to 120 degrees on a regular basis out in the desert. It's a desert. Somebody else posted on uh, Twitter, I can't remember which major league player it was, but it was a player, posted that the desert is where things go to die. And they're talking about playing baseball there. That's the throwback, not throwback, the... Um, backlash that I see and the downfall of playing in Phoenix. If they could do it in Florida, that would be awesome. Phoenix, it is going to get so damn hot there. I don't know how these players are going to be expected to play Major League Baseball. So if they're willing to do it, they can figure it out. I'm all for it, but I think it's a huge hurdle that they're going to have, a bunch of huge hurdles they're going to have to jump over, and I'm not sure if I see it happening. But I also can't see Major League Baseball forfeiting $11 billion in canceling their season. So... We'll see. The Chinese Baseball um, League is starting up on April 11th. Uh, the Korean Baseball League is starting exhibition games on April 21st. 
So, and those were like hubs for this virus. So I'm hoping that that's something that we can look forward to here. Maybe we're probably a month or so behind them. Hopefully we can look forward to that here in the not too distant future. I don't care if they play in front of no fans for a month or two. Televise the games. Let us watch. We need sports. People need sports. I need sports. We need baseball. It will be a great distraction from what's going on. And I think that that goes without saying. As for the Orioles, uh, they made a bunch of cuts um, right before things ended. And then they made a, a few cuts a couple of weeks ago. Keegan Aiken, he had a really decent start against the Yankees, I think it was, in spring training. But Brandon Hyde had some ominous comments where he said that he wants him to be able to better locate his curveball and throw it where he needs to throw it and throw it for strikes consistently. Otherwise, he won't be able to compete in the American League East. And I thought that was writing on the wall that said that Hyde didn't think that uh, Aiken was ready yet. And sure enough, he got cut. Dean Kramer also got cut. But somebody that people aren't really talking about who's still on the spring training roster right now, is Bruce Zimmerman. Bruce Zimmerman has been very impressive, or was very impressive in spring training. He was really locating that breaking ball very well, uh, throwing for strikes when he needed to. And he just, he looked like a solid pitcher. And that's a guy who I think we could see coming north of the club. Elias was talking about players who, when they sent back the two Rule 5 picks, uh, Michael Rucker and Brandon Bailey, Elias said there are guys who weren't on the team last year but were in the organization who could be making their debuts on opening day this year. And I think Bruce Zimmerman is one of those guys. I think that once the season gets started, when and if the season gets started, I think you might see Bruce Zimmerman have a spot in that rotation. But, you know, that was before all this started. And, you know, maybe that gives time for Tommy Malone to get things ramped back up and it gives Wade LeBlanc a better shot because he gets to throw a little bit more and uh, Cole Stewart who had only thrown once before things had to get shut down. But to keep an eye out for Bruce Zimmerman once the th- season gets uh, ramped back up because I think that that's a guy that we could see play a significant role on the Major League Club this year. That's going to do it for me for right now. Just wanted to check in with you all and I'll let you know how things are going, let you know I'm safe. I hope you all are safe. Please Stay home. I was out the other day and I saw 15 to 20 kids on the basketball court playing basketball. And it's like, what are you doing? That's why we all have to stay home. If you don't have to be out, don't be out. You know, I'm about to go to the store right now. That's why I'm in the car. Otherwise, I'd be home. Um, Wash your hands. Social distancing. Stay six feet away from people. And just stay home so that we can all go out sooner than later. All right? Love you guys. Hopefully I'll be checking in with you again soon with more updates about the payoff pitch and about the Orioles and hopefully better days are to come. All right, take it easy. Be safe.